This is a Haftarah commentary for the parasha Vayechi from the first book of Kings. The book of Kings is the fourth scroll of the prophets, the Nevi'im. In chapter 2, as David is nearing death, he urges Shlomo to settle some scores with Yoav for murdering Amasa and Avner, and with Shimei, who had insulted David. The story of Yoav's murder of Amasa is found in the second book of Shmuel. Yoav said to Amasa, How are you, my brother? Hashalom ata achi. He extended his right hand in friendship, but concealed a sword in his left. Amasa suspected nothing. Yoav drove his sword into Amasa's belly. He did not need to strike him a second time. For this murderous act by Yoav, David had ample reason to punish him, but refrained from doing so probably because Yoav was needed as commander of his army. But now Yoav was old and others could take his place. Shimi, don't forget what Shimi of the house of Shaul did. He came forth cursing. He insulted David when he was fleeing for his life. These were the last words to Shlomo from David. Send Shimei's gray hair down to Shaol in blood. But dumb Shaol. And David slept with his fathers meaning he then died peacefully and from natural causes. David was 70 when he died, having served seven years as tribal chief of Yehuda and Hebron, and then 33 years as king of all of the tribes of Israel in Jerusalem. Epilogue The difficulty created by this Haftarah cannot be ignored. As part of a last charge, they shock one's finer feelings. That he, David, passes into eternity with vengeance in his heart and on his lips? Sancino Humash, page 192. Was David no better than a mafia chief in search of vengeance? Yoav had brought blood guilt on the house of David by murdering Amasa, a Judean leader, and murdering Avner, a leader of the northern tribes. A danger existed that the factious tribes would revolt unless there was a reckoning. In a similar way, Shimi from the house of Shaul would have used any sign of weakness to initiate a rebellion against the house of David. But do these reasons exculpate David? from the violent means he counseled Shlomo. Thank you for your continuing interest and